Meta has just released Llama 3.2, the most advanced open source model available. In this video, you'll not only gain a comprehensive understanding of these groundbreaking new models, but you'll also build a full stack app capable of detecting liars by analyzing deceptive smiles. We will also address the most urgent questions about the new Llama 3.2 models. Which models are available? How can you access these models? And just how good are the vision capabilities? You'll learn how to use Grok and Together AI with the new models, and even discover how to save money on your next restaurant visit by analyzing recipes. Let's start with the models. Meta dropped four new models, including two big ones with vision capabilities designed to tackle truly important and complex tasks, like, you know, finding Waldo. But what's really exciting are the tiny models they've released, 1 billion and 3 billion parameters. These models are designed to run directly on devices. Imagine having such advanced AI capabilities right on your smartphone or even in devices like the Meta AI Ray-Ban glasses. The question is whether these smaller models are truly superior to previous leaders. In general understanding tasks, Llama 3.23b shows superior performance, especially in summarizing and rewriting, outpacing the previous best models like Phi. When it comes to tool use, Llama demonstrates remarkable adaptability making it far more effective in leveraging external tools compared to earlier models. This again confirms what I believe is the future of AI, a bunch of really small, capable, specialized models that can run on device. You might be wondering, how can you get your hands on these models? There are a couple of ways. First, they're available on Hugging Face. However, currently, they might not be accessible in Europe due to regional restrictions. But don't worry, another great option is Grok. Grok provides access to these models regardless of your location. After signing in with our Google account, we can select the model from the top right corner. Here, we have access to all the latest Llama 3.2 models. Let's choose the small yet fast 3 billion parameter version and ask it to write a story about an LLM engineer. Notice the speed, absolutely impressive. One of the most exciting features of Llama 3.2 is its vision capabilities. Let's put them to the test. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, only the text versions were available on Grok, not the multimodal ones. So we'll use together.ai as an alternative. Suppose you've just had a meal at a restaurant and received the bill. You want to quickly extract the key information or find ways to save money on your next visit. We'll ask Llama 3.2 to analyze it. How can I save money the next time? To answer correctly, Llama must identify each item and its price. The model accurately extracts all the details. It suggests either downsizing your drink or skipping the alcohol altogether. Now I'm curious to see how much I would have saved without alcohol. And it accurately reduces the total by 4.99, which was the cost of the beer. Now let's challenge the model with a classic, where's Waldo? We'll input this image into the model and see if it can locate Waldo. All right, let's ask directly, where's Waldo? This is very difficult for most people. It took me several minutes to find him. Llama responds that he's in the top left corner. Let me know in the comments if you spotted him too. Is a Llama 3.2 also in a position to detect lies? We want to build an app for this, and for this we start with V0 to create an MVP. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, myself. If you're enjoying these tutorials and want to support the creation of more content, consider becoming a member at AIfordevs.com. You'll gain access to over 100 highly engaging AI tutorials and the source code for every project we've built so far. And that concludes our lesson on subliminal advertising. We say we want to have an app where users can upload photos, where the smile is analyzed based on different factors. V0 goes to work and we see that a Next.js app is being built. For those who haven't worked with V0, check out my other tutorials on AIfordevs.com to learn how to build beautiful web applications with AI in just minutes. All right, it's almost finished. The result looks clean, and I believe we can work with it. We can drag a picture in here, and the app will then analyze with the help of a Llama 3.2 vision modalities, whether it is a real smile or a false smile. But how can we integrate Llama? The special thing about V0 is that we can also build the prototype directly locally with us. Here we just have to copy and paste the link and then automatically a new Next.js project is created, where we can then execute the state that we just saw at V0 locally. 
To keep it simple, I accept all standard options without changing anything. We see how the project is created, the dependencies are installed, and we can take a look at the state with npm run dev. In the browser, we see that we have our smile analyzer. We can also drag in a picture and we get a message that of course currently consists only of random values. We look into the page.tsx and see that the smile analyzer component is used there. Let's dive into the logic. We have multiple handlers in place for managing the drag and drop functionality of the image. We can see the logic for analyzing the smile, which currently uses math.random to generate a random value. Our goal is to replace this with an actual value calculated by Llama 3.2. To do this, we create a new API endpoint with the name together API and follow the Next.js convention that we create a file named root.ts. Here we create a very simple endpoint that reacts to a post request. The post request must include the image URL as the payload and the generate response method from the analyzer library is then called with this URL. Let's create this new analyzer logic in our lib folder. I paste the logic and we look over how it works. We initialize a new together AI client with the API key and then we have a generate response method that takes the image URL. We set Llama 3.290b as the model. The user prompt consists of two entries. First, we provide the instruction to return a confidence level on a scale from 1 to 10, indicating how certain it is that the picture contains a genuine smile, and the second entry contains the URL. We log the response content to the console and also return it. We now have to install Together AI. Now it's time to replace the fake analysis with the logic from the API. Then we open the cursor chat and ask it to replace the current fake logic with the correct logic in the API call. Here, we refer directly with add and then the file that it should use for it. We then give it the hint that the image URL that should be passed to the endpoint should be encoded in base64 because Together AI cannot respond to images that are stored locally. It goes to work and at first glance, the adaptation to the code looks good. We see the post request to our new API endpoint. Even if Cursor writes the code for you, I believe it's always important to understand the changes. And we check everything and confirm with apply and accept. Then we save the file and install Axios as a library to make the request to our API. We restart the server and try it once. I'm quite curious to see if everything will work or if we'll end up spending the next five minutes debugging. But so far, it looks good. The current smile is confirmed with 90% confidence, and I agree. Now we have a picture that is not a smile at all. This should be weighted relatively low. And we see that the result is also very well at 10%. And now we take a picture that is in between. I'm not sure if this is a fake smile or a Botox smile. Let's see. And here it's rated at 70%. I'm not quite sure about this one. Last one for today. This is clearly a fake smile, so it should be an easy one. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed our time together. If you want to improve your skills in building apps with Cursor, we have an additional video. Simply click on the video on the left to learn the best tips for boosting your development speed.